guys, welcome back. Brandon Lee, what is today? July like 17th, 18th, something like that. Um, we just finished up episode one. Um, today we got a little cool morning, so we're gonna try out these uh, the new uh, Shakar sticks and uh, platform, the Solo Scout platform from uh, Out on the Limb. We ain't even put them on a tree yet, so this is gonna be fun. We're gonna shoot our bows. What do you mean? You left your really cool recurve over there. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna shoot our tr trad bows, man, off of these new sticks and uh, scout, man. We're pretty jacked about this thing, right? I mean, that's tiny. Um, we got, we actually have the single stuff, uh, the Shakar minis too, but I didn't have any aiders yet, yet. Mike his bell, I don't have them yet. So when we get those, we'll obviously do something with those too. But today we're gonna test out the 17 inch double steps. That's what we're gonna be shooting off of, and. Uh, yeah, I mean nothing, nothing over the top here, but we're just gonna see what how we like them. Just some easy stuff right here out of the saddle, so we'll uh, set back we all in a little bit. All right, Mass Lee. Yep. Didn't it go up these cigars right here. Make, make the native voyage. Yeah, make the first trip up with some cars. We're only gonna do about three sticks because uh, the tree we got here in the yard, and we're just trying to get used to shooting recurves this year. So, anyways, but I'll make a quick up close video before he takes this thing up the tree of this Scout Solo guy. Anybody, I mean, once you figure out how to hold you to adjust your tether and stuff to make your hunt comfortable, which is all this is about, it's tether, tether height, bridge length. That's all that getting comfortable is about. This thing right here is all you need. Like I am beyond excited about this i mean it's solid i mean it'll flip up if you pull it but i mean if you got any kind of downward pressure or no pressure it's fine um god guys i'm excited about this one i can't wait we're going up we're working on right now like switching trunks or what um switching trunks or going over a limb we're actually switching trunks that's the same same uh, method so i just uh got my lineman belt already on from the ground and now i've uh hooked my tether into my bridge loop um, and to make a secondary lineman's belt that I've transitioned over onto this right side limb that I'm gonna be going up. And so, and as soon as I get off of the main trunk, I'll transition over and, and take the lineman's belt off. Cue the drone footage. That's what we're doing here. I mean, yeah, we're in the yard or whatever. I want you to look at where we're flying this drone. This is the difference in what we're doing and what other people are doing, we think. <laughs> it's our ballsiness to send it up into that.
Danny. I'm super impressed with how it locked in. I've not, um, I've never used any, any, any steps that locked over. And so, uh, just couldn't believe how comfortable and it's not, um, it's not intuitive to think so. You would think, man, that would be the most uncomfortable, um, thing I ever stood on for a long period of time. But when the, the, the pressure that the saddle takes off your butt, um, divides it with what's on your feet. And so you don't, you don't have near the pressure of what you would imagine you have, say, if you're in a uh, climbing stand, like a summit or something on your, on your bottom platform. It's just a completely different concept. I told Brandon, I think I would like to have two of these, you know, on my strong side, not 180, but like two, one here, one here. And, uh, you know, just, just think incredible. of things like a pound a piece. So, you know, you could pack two of them and still be under what, uh, what most people are for so one side. One, you lose some of your, uh, 360 degree, uh, shot, but it is, this is more to me, this is a, like for a destination location situation where you're on, you're on a scrape and you're hunting, you're setting this mini up for your strong side to shoot at that scrape or say a feed tree or something like that. But you're, you know, you're. That's a, that's a, that's a scout solo. Mini scout solo? No, the mini is just uh, a short stick. That's a scout solo. Oh, my bad. No, no worries. I mean, heck, we're, we're, hey, we are not professional product endorsers. We're just showing you what we found. Yeah. So this is the stuff we were looking at because we're walking two miles back into public land in North Georgia, which is terrible to do anytime, but especially in September and October. So yeah, yeah, this scout I mean, solo is uh, great for um, remote area access and what like I how would long, consider how long do you think you'll be able to stand on that thing for a hunt? Do you think you'll be able to hunt half a day, all day? I mean, if you into season November, could you sit all day hunt on that? Do you think? Yes. Yeah, I could. Um, if the destination was remote enough that right, you didn't right, want to tote your Ridge right, Runner or something like that. Right. Yeah. Like, um, I think I could too. I mean, I just, I ain't even got on it, but I told somebody last year this was the design to go with, and they didn't build, believe me, and then this comes out, and it's, I think it's perfect. Yeah. So there you have it, man. The Shakars. What do you think about the sticks, man? How'd you feel about those? I know it took us a minute to really get them just dialed in just right, but once they get in on the tree, they're... Kind of like any other stick, right? They're locked in. I don't know. I've never really had a problem with sticks slipping, but um, like they're as the, solid as any other stick. I like the standoffs. Hand. I like the width on the double step. Um, I like the uh, the knob system. Um, there's a small spring in here is how that operates. Um, everything's quiet. Everything is... Uh, is uh, yeah, I think there was design. a... With that solid uh, construction, I think there's a noticeable difference in that, like my old long wool sticks. Like as far as just moving around here, we were not like stealthy and we didn't make a whole lot of noise. So maybe the coating, maybe the design, everything. But anyways, man, this is what we're going to be hunting Northwest Georgia with this year. So y'all uh, y'all stay tuned. What's up, world? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the Shakar review. Out on the limb, shout out to Out on the Limb Manufacturing. Um, we're not paid or anything like that, but this is what we're gonna run with. This is the lightest setup. This is the fastest, quietest that I can find. I'm just what I'm running. So anyways, hope you guys found it uh, helpful. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the drone footage. That's what we're really building this brand around is the drone footage. So guys, please like, subscribe to our channel, pay attention to the new drops. And uh, man, let's see where this takes us, man. Uh, July 18th, we're on the back end, man. We're getting ready for deer season. Guys, we're shooting bows, we're scouting, we're finding deer. Let's get ready for the fall. Like, subscribe, we appreciate it. Peace.